Okay, so whenever we set up one of the teacher PCs, we're doing dual drive systems. Uh, the primary drive, the C drive with the operating system and all programs are gonna be a solid state drive. The user drive or the D drive where all user files are stored are gonna be, is going to be a either a laptop, old laptop drive, and I say old but uh, fully tested laptop drive, or a regular uh, 3.5 inch hard drive. In both cases, we're going to test, format, and set those drives up um, using our IDSonic drive bay. So how do we do that? First of all, we put it in and um, we open up two programs, one of which is stored on the E drive of this particular uh, per computer called Crystal, Crystal Disk Info. I'd go ahead and right click and drag a shortcut to your desktop so that you can get to it much easier from here on out. And this is what Crystal Disk Info looks like right there. Uh, and then the other thing we're going to use is um, Disk Management, which I get to by right clicking and going up to Disk Management. I'm going to use those two things to test my drive. Oop, I just turned on what I wanted to turn off. So the way we're going to do this is we're going to take a drive, we're going to drop it in there, and um, we're going to power it on, and that sound you keep hearing is the power coming on and off. The power switch is on the back left-hand side over here, and the power light is right there. So when you turn it on, this should illuminate, and you should hear something like this. If your speakers are on, enter will come on. It's going to be found by disk management first. And so we see the drive come up here. Now, this one's been used before. If it hasn't been used before, it usually comes up as a black drive and it says it has not been initialized. I'm going to try to find one that falls into that category so I can give you a, a look at what it looks like when it comes up that way uh, so I can fully show you everything. Most of the drives that are um, redone, there we go, that are redone by the Air Force show up as not initialized. So right now Windows can't see this. It's not going to show up in our Windows Explorer as a valid drive over here when we go and look at it over here, which will be our F drive on this particular PC. So to do it, we right click over here and say initialize disk and just say OK. And it's initialized and then we get a format it so we're going to right click over here and say new simple volume and just next through it you're going to say next yeah i want to make a simple volume yes i want to use it all yes it's going to be the f drive yes we'll just do a quick format and go ahead and go all the way through it's going to format that and it's going to show up as the f drive so that's number one we've got our drive formatted if in the case of the other drive I just had in there, it's already formatted and done. We're going to reformat it so it's completely empty. So you would just skip the initialization side, and then you go over here and just right click and say format and do the quick format. Oops, should be NTFS. Didn't pay attention to that. Say OK. And we're going to reformat this drive right now as an NTFS uh, partition. So now it's all done. There's an F drive there. If I look over here, I see this new volume F. It's complete. Oops. What did I just do? Maybe it just finished. There we go. A new volume F, and it's completely empty. So we've got it initialized and formatted. Now we're going to go and just use Crystal Disk Info to make sure it shows up as a good drive. So we're going to go here. We're going to say Function Rescan on. If you saw that, the F6 does the same thing. So it just showed up as the F drive, and it shows that it's good. That's good enough for us. Crystal Disk Info says that Smart has never had a problem with this. Nothing's been reported to the uh, uh, hard drive as bad from the hard drive through the Smart feature. But I'm going to show you one that is bad. So that's good enough. I formatted it. It's all ready to go. I'll put it in my good drives. I'm going to go ahead and turn this one off. Take it out. Put it in my box of good drives to use later. And then I'm going to stick in one that doesn't come up good. It looks like a perfectly good drive and disk management and 90% of the time they are going to look like a perfectly good drive. This one again is already formatted and it is in TFS. I can reformat it again just by right clicking, saying format, making sure it's in TFS, say OK, and yeah, we're going to reformat this drive. And we got it all ready. Now, Crystal Disk Info does not rescan the drive until you tell it to. So it's all ready to go. It says it's healthy. I'm going to go over here, function, and say rescan. And when I rescan it, it comes up as caution. It's either blue, yellow, or red. 
in no case do we use a yellow or red drive if it's already showing that it's got bad partitions and the sectors have been reallocated we're just not going to use it so this drive is a no no we're not going to use this drive we're not going to put it on our thing anything other than good we are not going to put inside a teacher's computer and that's it for setting up initializing formatting and taking a look at the drive through crystal disk info um, before we put it into any of the pcs